This question comes in two parts. It says, a force vector is 3i minus 2j minus 4k newtons. And really these i, j, k should have little hats on top. Um, in the first part it says, what is the magnitude of this vector? And the second part is, express the direction of this vector as a unit vector. And these are very important skills. Let's begin just as an exercise by trying to visualize this. So I'm going to draw my axes. And basically I have my x-axis here and my y-axis here and my z-axis is uh, coming into and out of the page. And if I draw this first part, this is 3i. So that's three units along the x-direction. That's one component. And then we have minus 2j. So let's go down here by minus 2. And I'm, I'm building up a cube. Uh, and then I have minus 4k. Positive on the z comes out. Negative goes in. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's a kind of cube in space and this vector goes from the origin and it goes to that bottom corner. So there's my actual vector. So that's the vector I'm interested in and it is a three-dimensional vector and I need to know its magnitude and in order to work out the magnitude we basically use Pythagoras's theorem in three dimensions we basically can say d squared is equal to the square uh, sorry is equal to d is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared it's just the same as Pythagoras but in three dimensions so d in this case is equal to plus 3 squared plus minus 2 squared plus minus 4 squared. I like to leave, I like to put my numbers in parentheses so that that sign is a direction. I don't mistake it with a subtraction. So then d is equal to the square root of 3 threes are 9, 2 twos are 4, 4 fours are 16. So that's going to equal the square root of 29. And if I get my calculator, the square root of 29, second square root, 29 equals, this equals 5.39. And this is in Newtons, 5.39 Newtons. No, but no need for a sign on this because it's a magnitude. This is a magnitude. Um, and they're always positive. So that's how long this actual vector is. Um, now let's think about the direction. This is pointing in the correct direction. But it's way too long. How long is it? It's 5.39 units long. So it's the right direction but it's not a unit vector because it's not got a magnitude of one. So somehow I have to make this have the same direction but have a smaller magnitude. And the best way to do this, let's, let's, um, let's represent this by a little arrow like that, a little blue arrow. And let's call that our, uh, um, uh, let's call that our uh, R hat, meaning a unit vector in a specific direction. R hat. So R hat is equal to 3i plus minus 2j plus minus 4k. And again, I'm just writing these things out. I'm being a bit careful. That's the right direction but the magnitude of that vector is wrong. 
and what is the correct magnitude? Divide this by its own magnitude. We've already worked that out. So that would be uh, over 5.39. Divide it by its own magnitude and we get the unit vector. We can uh, um, go to a few more steps and say 3i over 5.39 minus 2j over 5.39 minus 4k over 5.39 but here you know I'm basically playing with the arithmetic it's, it's basically done and from a teacher's point of view actually if I see that I know that you know how to do it so two skills one is can you work out the magnitude for a three-dimensional vector? And then the second thing is, can you work out a unit vector which has the same direction as the original vector? And the trick is, you take the original vector and divide it by its own magnitude.